What's happening guys? Today we're going to be touching on product seasonality and making sure that your product that you're about to push forward with is not seasonal. Be looking at checking how well a product sells through different periods of the year using historical data. And we're going to focus on Helium 10 Trendster in this video and how you can use this primarily in two different ways. One, in terms of narrowing down that group of products that you are looking at to choose the very best based on seasonality. And two, how to double check the market that you do choose by looking at multiple offerings within that market and comparing all of their data to make sure what you're doing is not going to have seasonal sales. So let's take a look. You can see here we're on Trendster in Helium 10. So as soon as you come into your dashboard, you will see Trendster, the second option here. And once you click on that, you have the ability to input ASINs over here. Now, the first thing we're going to be checking is which of the products we have found is best in terms of seasonality or maybe you've narrowed down to three products that are all really strong but now we need to choose one of them and one of the ways one of the criteria you can use to establish which of those is best is seasonality and how well a product sells throughout the year does it have evergreen sales so what you want to do is input your top three or four products that you're vetting that you've narrowed down to and now you're going to vet them on seasonality what you'll do is go to each of those markets for example here on amazon you can see the one product we found the other product that we're looking at and the third product that we're looking at and on each of these take the seed product ASIN, okay, that is your main competitor, the one you're looking at closest. Also recommend you choose the competitor that's been there a while. Quickly establish which one's been there for a long time by looking at reviews. So this one has 760 reviews telling us it's a long-standing listing, it's been there a while. The reason that's important is we're looking at historical data. So the longer it's been on the market, the more data we'll be able to pull. So even though this might not be the highest potential one to track because they're a bit ahead with reviews, it is the best version to choose for seasonality reasons because although we might do or follow a product like this much more closely where they only have 57 reviews and selling very well in industrial and scientific, Although we might track that as our seed product, it's going to have less data because it's a newer listing. So just make sure it's the same type of product and that will inform you about seasonality. So even though we look at this one, remember it's telling you the exact same seasonality because this is the same product, solves the same problem. Once you've done that, take that ASIN from each of these markets and you're gonna drop that ASIN in over here. Then what you wanna do is beneath each you want to input a keyword for each of those markets so for example in the fishing magnet one that is in fact the keyword we're going to use fishing magnet because it's prominent in the titles you can see here it's their shortest possible relevant keyword take that from each of these markets and drop that in as well to trendster here and then you click start trendster so you can see once we do that it's bringing up the data down here for each of these ASINs or each of these markets we're looking into and it does that with a BSR or price tracking block here and you can cross reference that with Google Trends over here. Now the first thing you do want to do is set this to at least one year if not all time. If the offering has been there long enough you will have the one year option and that's the best. However, in some, it may not have been there for one year and then you have, like this one, you have to choose all time and take it from as far back as possible or go choose a longer standing competitor in that market and then you will have the one year option. So you can see why longer standing competitors is better. The same over here on Google Trends, choose one year. That's what you want to see for each of these that way we're looking at the same time period when looking at both of these so with BSR remember you want to see the lowest possible BSR that's this pink line over here but with Google Trends you want to see the highest 
possible numbers here because that's search volume. So we should see a inverse relationship between these two, which you can see here a little bit. You can see when our BSR is quite low up to about March, we have, if you were to draw a straight line here, we have a decently high average over here. And then after March, you can see our BSR starts to go up a little bit in those months, just a little bit, not too much. You can see we still at like 3,000 under 3,000 here, which is still very good. But then when you look at Google Trends, that actually makes sense because after March, we kind of drop off. And if we drew a straight line here, it might be over here, that line. So a little bit lower as an average. So you can see how that makes sense and correlates. You can see how that is a good way of cross-referencing this. We can see on the internet, the amount of searches people do for anemometer or wind speed monitor. And here on Amazon, we can see how well this listing sells in the same periods of time. Over here with the fishing magnet, this one, we can see in Google Trends a very clear seasonal relationship actually with this listing. If you were to draw a line in the first part of the year here, it would lie right down here on this 50 line almost just below and if you were to draw, draw a line on the second part of the year it would probably lie at about 80 or so straight through here as an average so you have a clear relationship where this product is searched for far less in the winter months and much more in the summer months so this is quite a clear clear-cut seasonal relationship on this one and that should correlate somewhat in the BSR of this listing so we can see here November the winter months you can see we have quite a lot of jagged spikes but the BSR is much higher look at that around 20,000 okay 7,000 20,000 so a higher BSR in general here but if we look over here at our summer months higher search volume June July you can see over here look at June July much lower BSR, so selling far more. So that's how this correlates. You can also see this one at the bottom. I wanted to touch on this because these staircases are very telling. When you see these, it almost looks like a mistake, but what these are, this is out of stock. You can see it climbs at a certain ratio, almost every single one of them. You can see it's kind of on the same curve curves like this and that tells you this is an out of stock so the Amazon algorithm is dropping this down the results systematically with time you can see you actually lose a lot of ranking very quickly short time period and a high rise in the beginning and then it tapers off and you lose less ranking as time goes on and that relationship will continue so this is a clear sign of out of stock uh, areas just after being introduced, I would say. And then here, we're staying in stock and it's become a little more stable. This trend is the most difficult to read. You can see the search numbers do change quite frequently, up and down, up and down. But this is actually a very stable trend. The average would be probably on this 50 line here if you were to draw a straight line. And so this product would actually be quite evergreen. This is quite a stable trend through the year. Although it's up and down, up and down, it's got a very straight average across summer and winter, as you would expect with this type of product. The data we can pull from this BSR is quite difficult because you can see we only really have accurate information from about June, July. So we're only going to see one season. So in this case, what I would do is go find a competitor who has longer standing roots in this market, and that's going to be more telling uh, and will cross reference this, what you're seeing here. So, this is a really good way to check your markets. And from this, I would say that this product is our most seasonal, the fishing magnet. I would say this is definitely doable for evergreen sales. Uh, it might not look like it, but you can see here we've got a very low BSR 1600 even under a thousand sometimes more during our winter months doing very well and then in summer it looks like it goes way up but if you actually look closely look at that BSR still 3000 got a little spike up to about five 
5,600, but still here under 4,000 and tracking under 2,000 there. So still selling very well. This product looks to be much more evergreen than this. And then this one I would need more info on. But this is how you guys can put in the ideas that you have found and start to really evaluate those in terms of seasonality and choosing the best based on seasonality. The second way that you can use this tool, let's say we did choose this, this anemometer, this wind meter. What we're going to do is we're going to go over to that market and we're going to choose our top three ASINs in this market, our top three seed products, the ones we're tracking the closest. And we're going to do the same as what we just did. We're going to drop in their ASINs and then what we're going to do is choose our top three different keywords, the top three different ways people find this product. So I'm going to do that quickly. Okay, so here we've put in three ASINs from that market and then we've dropped in three of our top keywords, three of the top ways customers search for this product. Wind speed meter, anemometer and airflow thermometer and star trendster. Again here, what you want to do is select your all time or one year. Okay, and what we're doing here is checking across this market because obviously the more data points we have or the more subjects we have in this test, the better, the more accurate this will be. So by checking all of them and the different search terms, we'll be able to establish for sure whether this is seasonal or not or how seasonal this product is. And so if we quickly look at each, this one is the least telling because we have the least data on this. But if we look at, let's say March, we've got like a 6,000 BSR. And then at currently we have a BSR of about 2,000. So really strong uh, through most of the year. Then looking at this keyword, wind speed meter, you can see also very stable or very constant throughout the whole year as an average compare your kind of winter months here to your summer months here and you can see although there are these spikes it's still quite stable it's not choosing a specific season and that's more or less correlated in this it's quite stable it sells quite well that BSR is pretty low for a lot of the year in the next one we can see here let's look at winter We've got a 4,400 BSR, 4,100. And if we go into summer, we can see 5,300, 6,800, creeping all the way up to about 11,000. And more currently, still low, about 6,000. So that is quite telling in terms of the selling really well in most parts of the year. It might in fact sell a little better in the winter months of the year and slow down slightly into summer. And then again here, a similar trend we can see in the more winter months, quite low, 1,000, 2,000 BSR. And we go more into summer, you can see going all the way up to about 5,000, back to 2,800. And more recently, see even under 2000. So quite constant. And this graph for Anemometer, which is the same product, also very stable throughout the whole year. So quite good. If anything, this sells better during the winter months. And you can see the volumes also a bit higher there. And then a little less in the summer months, little lower volume, little higher BSR, which would make perfect sense. So that is how you can use Trendster on Helium 10 to evaluate the small pool of products you've narrowed down to and really choose the very best out of those. Once you start to get to products being really high potential and you can't choose between them, this type of thing can really be telling and help you also avoid making mistakes where you're going to have stock or be overstocked for long periods of the year. So use this 
too narrow down to that best product or best market and then once you've done that check multiple offerings in that market and make sure that the results correspond somewhat so you're not just looking at one listing and basing your decision on that so this should help you choose products that are going to sell well throughout the whole year if you did enjoy this video please do like it below also subscribe to the channel let me know any questions you guys have drop those in the comments below and i will see you in the next video Thank you.